Jessica St. Clair, everybody. Yeah. Jessica St. Why are you Man. ramping those? Oh, I always do that. Oh I haven't God. read one of these in years. Oh, I, don't, I don't even think they put questions on them anymore. They just leave them out. <laughs> I rip them up. They, and then we pulp them and put them back together. We always recycle. Oh, that's very good. We always As recycle. you should. We do. That's why I've come on this show to talk about that. About recycling? Recycling. Mm, how important is recycling in today's uh, arena? I'll link you when I'm done. All right. <laughs> you look sensational. That's well, a lovely thank you dress. Very it's, much. I, it's um, lacy. You know, I really, I have not been to the gym. Gym in I don't know maybe 11 months we've been people writing this show wearing, people are not wearing dresses like that in the well, gym they? no they are not and I went to the gym to, in an attempt this morning to try and I thought maybe if I do only triceps so I went to every machine and people thought who's that homeless woman why is she you know what I mean working it out like that but it didn't help so I'm sorry I, I actually was going to say what marvelous triceps <laughs> Thank you have you. I mean, noticeably. I, I mean, because there's there's two things that I really I notice in a woman. One, her triceps, and two, if she's from Canberra, which yes. you clearly yes. clearly are not. Have you yes. ever been to Australia? I haven't. I haven't. Mm. But we have a fabulous person we've met on Twitter who goes by the handle Brockle Snitch, mm. who is from. He's, she seems to be our only fan, mm -hmm. and she is really doing it for us in Canada. I think she had. I'm sorry, in Australia, yeah, she yeah. had to wait 12 hours. It's much, all the same. Much thing. the same. Yeah. It's all the same. Yeah. USA. 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 <laughs> yeah, they don't have hot dogs. Oh, in their pizza. no, it's no. Britain. They've got the hot dogs in the pizza area. I say, would you like some more hot dog in the pizza? Man. Yeah. I mean, you should have had a plate. You, they probably would have flown you some, don't you think? Are overnight you kidding me? No, no, no. You wouldn't no. have wanted that as a little hors d'oeuvre? Would you eat it? Hot dog I would have eaten it. Oh, really? absolutely. Are you a fan That's of right it? Oh, yes. Really? You like that kind of thing? You know what I th was thinking to myself? <laughs> I'm a fan of a secret wiener stuff uh -huh. anyway. <laughs> That's what we have in common. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. What the hell? Yeah, fine. I don't care. <laughs> oh, a wiener. Oh, oh my hell, God. fine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Let it in. You Tuck know what in. I mean? Yeah. I don't want to hurt its feelings. Right, you know exactly. What I mean? yeah. If it's come all this way, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Be so proud. Oh no! Yeah. Is your mother watching the show? Yes, yeah, she'll be watching the show. Where will she be watching from? She is. Um, they live in New Hampshire now, but we grew up in New Jersey. Oh, it's so we were proud New Jerseyites. Mm. And um, but she is a, a staunch Irish Catholic. She has 14 brothers and sisters. Yes, she is. Yes. Yeah. So all of them will be calling her to say, "Where did she get that filthy mouth?" No, then, no, you know, no. They know it's a joke. Plus, I'm sure. Scottish, so they already have a very low opinion yes, of me in the do. first. Very well, I'm Scottish Protestant, they're Irish Catholic. Exactly. They kind of hate me before they they've even seen the show. <laughs> it goes back to Henry it's, VIII and does, before. It does. You know. it does. Yeah, no, it's, have you ever been over there to the old country? I um, have been to Ireland. My husband mm. brought me over there to propose to me. Really? Yes. Is your, is your husband Irish? He is. He's, he's an O'Brien, but he is. That's one pretty of Irish. Those, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, but he um, he studied over there a year after uh, you know he graduated. He did like a, a, a wander yard of sorts. Right. Which was a lot of drinking and then throwing up, I think. That's this, it, and this and happened you, in Ireland? This said? happened in Ireland, if you can believe it. Yeah. Um, but yes, he brought me back there. And then we've been back a couple times. And I've seen enough. Do you know what I mean? I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> a lot of stones. Oh, that used to be a house pile of stones. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, we yeah. get it. Uh, you're making me homesick for Scotland. No, no, that's lovely. Scotland's uh, much like Ireland, except, you know, better. Oh, yes. Uh, I can't wait. I, I do want to go to Scotland, oh, especially lovely. Edinburgh. It looks beautiful. Well, it's very nice if you've got no, no uh, plans to go to Glasgow, which is really where you want to go. Glasgow. Edinburgh's kind of the Canberra of Scotland. Oh, it is. Know. Okay. A lot of lesbians. Uh, there may be one or two. Maybe yeah, or yeah, two. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking about if there's any Edinburgh lesbians. I'm sure there must be a, a, a Yeah, couple. I'm sure there's a handful, a smattering. Is, is that the collective noun yes. for Scottish lesbians, yes. a handful? When they travel together in yeah, groups, no, I don't they're called know. a handful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What was I grabbing? What was I grabbing? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, uh, we're out of time, so uh, what okay. do you think? Uh, mouth organ, uh, awkward pause, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? I'm going to go for the big cash prize. Mm -hmm. What the hell is the show, Steven? Once again, for the big cash prize. Cash prize. All right. 
Uh, please don't touch the bag until you've won. Uh, uh. It's America. Yeah, yeah. It. No, don't. No, it. no, you're not yet. Not yet. Okay. No. Now it's 50 American dollars in quarters okay. in a bag with a dollar sign on it, just like the burglars use. There right. are two ways to win. You can either. Answer a question, or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box and a blah, blah, Jeff thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to answer a question. Mm, answer okay. a question. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, You're judging it. You're no, judging no, that. no, I'm not judging you. So nervous. <laughs> There's nothing written on those cards. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no. fairly certain. No. No, uh, here we are. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm hmm. Uh. <laughs> See, now you just keep going through the same ones. No, no, no. Oh, well, actually, I've got back to the start now. All right, then. Uh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. True or false? One of the few negative aspects of quitting smoking is that a person will have fewer and less vivid dreams. What are the positive? That's the negative or the positive? Here we go again. True or false? One of the few negative, negative aspects yes. of quitting smoking is that the person quitting smoking will have fewer and less vivid dreams. Is that true or not true? I'm gonna say that's not true. I think smoking's great for you. <laughs> <laughs> America. <laughs> CBS care. <laughs> Actually, you are correct. It is false. The opposite is true. People have more, more. and stronger dreams yeah. when they quit. So if, so if you quit smoking, you could um, you could have sexy dreams and win fifty dollars. <laughs> Jessica St. Clair, everybody. Jessica St. Clair, everybody. Hello, Jessica. Hello. May I say, you look absolutely stunning. Well, I'm double spanked. Oh, wow. <laughs> double spanks? What, now, what is the difference between single spanks and double spanks? Well, I may pass out during this interview. <laughs> really? Um, my, my best friend Lennon and I, who we star on this yes, show together. Yes, yes, she's a lovely girl. Yes. She's been here. We, um, we both just had babies, and we read in an Us magazine that Beyonce double spanks herself. <laughs> but she cuts the butt out. <laughs> I didn't do that. You don't want to, well, because then the, the rest of the body looks for a place to escape. Exactly, exactly. It, it'd be like, exactly. but you mustn't do that. I'm not sure Listen, you should be double spanking anyway. It might be like a, a Downton Abbey moment. If I pass out, fetch a smelling salt, and maybe I'll come to, or maybe not. But that's the only way I could get into the stress. This, this I did this for you, Chris. Well, no, 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 no. This is all true. Oh, problem. my Lord. <laughs> Look, the I, I, you know, you, you're perfectly uh, welcome to wear sweatpants and a top. It's, Thanks. It's not. I was wearing earlier. I, you, I mean, yeah. I can't believe you had a baby eight months ago. Yes. But then again, I don't know how powerful spanks yeah, are. You know, very so. powerful. Well, my baby was ten pounds. Wow. Wow. And she looks yeah. like a little beautiful Don Rickles. Yeah. <laughs> she has my size mouth on a baby, if you could imagine. So she's just, uh, but yeah, and she came out just like, what's up? You know, and so it was a real situation. Ten pounds, a big giant mouth, and what's up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an animated feature. <laughs> I'm so uh, uh, that's quite a, that's a large, yeah. did you do the, uh, the, the like full, you know, chemical well, get out of it birth, or did you have it in a bucket of mud like an actress? Listen, um, I I didn't really have much of a plan. I didn't read any books per se about childbirth. What do you mean per se? I mean I might not know how to read. I don't know. Okay. I just didn't have time. And I and Lennon, Lennon stud is like she's like a part. She wants to be like a part-time midwife, like do it out of her garage. So she's like, she's read everything. You can't be a midwife out of your garage. But I'm telling you. Uh, you're gonna have to baby come on in. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Get up down. on the bench. I'll just get down and grab it. Um, no, but anyway, she had read all the books. So a couple days before I gave birth, I said, do you have one of those birth plans that I've been hearing so much about? And that's where you tell them what you want, you know, in the delivery room. And she goes, yes, I do, but please do not cut and paste. This is not a situation where you should do that. I said, I'm not gonna, that would be crazy. 
So of course I did that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when it came down to I needed an epidural, I mean, I was like having a terms of endearment moment. I oh. said, I need this thing, it's a 10 pound baby. Yeah. They said, oh, well, the doctor's not here. And I said, what? And well, it's said, a garage, it's there's no doctor in the garage. <laughs> So the, the epidural, the anesthesiologist, I guess, wasn't there, and so you had to it just, like... It was busy, because apparently on Lennon's birth plan, it says, don't ask me about the epidural. So they didn't tell me, and I'm like, Dad... You know, are, you, are we talking... <laughs> both of you are having your first babies here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See all that talk about don't talk to me about the epidural? No, no. Save that to after you've had a baby. Exactly! Exactly! Just in, ca just in case. Just in just case. Just in case you change your mind at a moment where... Yes. You need it. Yeah. So like, if, if I was to ever have a baby, which is unlikely, but if yeah. ever I was... Hey, don't say that. I'd, I'd uh, well, <laughs> no, I just... I've seen what I was... I've been there when both my kids it's were terrible. born. It's terrible. Uh, it's a sight to see. I, <laughs> That's for sure. I tell you, when I looked at it, I was like, well, somewhere in there, with all this going on, a baby is coming out. But, but there's a whole lot of other stuff. I'm like, <gasps> what is that? And then there's other, everything, all the bells and whistles are going and everything's like, oh, like I thought it was just like, yeah. but no. No. And if your baby has the head of Don Rickles. Yes. I mean, it, it gets stuck. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, you better get it out. I'm like, modern medicine needs to get this out of me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they're like, you have to push it. I'm like, no, thanks. I'm not interested in any of this. You should have worn your double spike I then. And this. <laughs> Yeah, squeeze it. More spanked. Yeah. Well, More never mind. But anyway, anyway you're, you're past the hump now. Yeah. It's fine. What age is she? Eight months? She's eight months. Ah, you're fine. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Oh, they should yeah. be sleeping through the night. Everything's great. Your yeah. life is perfect now. Yeah, it's perfect. It really is. No, mm. she just slept through her first night at like, like last night. Yeah, that doesn't mean that she's going to do it again. No, I heard that. <laughs> I heard that, and I, I feel like now I could, like, go, you know, run a marathon, right? And I got one night of sleep, you know what I mean? And yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. I'm no, almost I, on drugs. It feels yeah, like no, I, drugs. I totally get it. I, yeah. I've got, you know, my youngest boy is three, and... Oh, mm. doesn't get better. It doesn't... No, it, no, my oldest boy is 13, and it yeah. doesn't get better. Yeah, that's... You know, <laughs> it, it just, you just kind of like, oh, man, now what am I worried about, you know? That's great. It's, uh, you so, should write a parenting book. That should be your next act. You know well, what I mean? write a parenting book? Hey, you know, your it's life is now over. Doesn't, you, doesn't you, get now, you now no longer matter, really. <laughs> Welcome to servitude. Yes. For the rest of your life, you will be yep. a servant to yes. this. Yeah. To this person. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's it makes me want to apologize to my own parents. But. Yes, I think about it. I don't do it, but no, no, yeah, I, but I, I think about it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, I can't. Yeah, um, but we, you know, we write our in our show. My best friend and I are raising a baby together, so it's kind of like is that what that show is? Yeah, playing house. It's that Lennon's character. Uh, so she dresses up as a dude, and no, you. That's who. That's great. First of all, that's her dream. She's been trying to be able to dress up like a dude. This particular. Hey, it's character. California. We dress up like a dude if you want. I know. It's cool. But this is the first network that it's allowed us to do it, and um, she was real rude to me as that Bocephus character. Real Bo rude. Bo and Hansy. Han Hansy. Hansy. You know, I, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing that. No, you. It wasn't hot. It was rude. Well, let me decide if it. Was, okay. uh, <laughs> You might know what you might think is hot and what I think. Yeah, my, my, you know, I think Leonard Parnham dressed up as a dude getting handy with you might actually be hot. Okay. She's also eight and a half months pregnant. Okay, okay. that okay. might change my mind a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we're yes. out of time. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. It was so abrupt. I'm going to say. All right, then. Let me. Let me let, oh, no, no, no. no. Let's, let's do it a different way. So, okay. I've got some news. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's not... No! <laughs> Why? What did I do? I'll be less crazy. What? It's just... Is it the space? It's not you. It's not, it's not about... No, it's me. It's me. I need some commercial break time. I... <laughs> learned anything in Scotland since you've been here? Quite a bit, yeah. Okay, what have you learned? I've picked up a lot of interesting phrases. Okay, try me. Like, uh, your bum's out the window. <laughs> that means your, your bottom, or derriere, is out of the window. What it means is you are mistaken. Oh, I you see. You are mistaken. So if a Scottish person says to you, your bum's out the window, it means you're mistaken. You're mistaken. You're mistaken. 
might be more helpful if they just say, you're mistaken. Well, they, can, they say that too, but and sometimes they will act out mistakenness by putting their actual bottoms out of the window. And when they do that, you know that you've made a mistake. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Still got it.